babies, but that's fine. Yeah. We're doing our live stream, and we're trying a new microphone, so hopefully it'll sound okay. So let us know how it sounds. Ah, ah, ah. <laughs> there you go. It's going, uh, it's going and doing the thing. So. Yeah, it's, it looks like it's... Yeah. I mean, I assume it's working. I don't Everybody know. say it sounds great. I, yeah. Maybe. Well, uh, this is the Mythos Weekly Gear Roundup. We're going to talk about some stuff. Not a whole lot has come out this week, hmm. but... Unless we missed everything. I tried to go through my emails, go to a couple of stores, websites, do some research. Uh, didn't see a whole lot of stuff. So didn't we'll talk much. about the Amigo show that we went to yeah. over the weekend here in uh, beautiful downtown Franklin. Sounds like we might be clipping. Okay. Hmm. Turn it down a little bit. Hmm. Let's see. Here, let me... Let me met, let me adjust my levels here. Thank I'm really you. loud. Thank you, Nick. Is that the Nick Miller <laughs> from from New Girl? That's terrific. Guy never hears that. So, oh, yeah. Sorry, guy. I hate this. Mm. See, like in in Universal Audio, I click that. Yeah. See how it's not doing anything? Yeah, it's cl you're clicking on it, and nothing's moving around. I can move it around. Mm-hmm. That's all good. Well, I'll just That's turn this. Good. Yeah, I don't know what to do with my hands now bit. that we don't have microphones. I know. I can do this. I can do more of this. Nick Miller, Nick Miller from the streets of Chicago. I can do this. Uh, I saw you. <laughs> I purposefully did Dad, not Dad, look at this. Look at this. <laughs> look at me. Look you never at me. get that, right? <laughs> <laughs> Let me see. I'm going to try to keep adjusting this. Um, right. I'll keep talking. Uh, yeah, there sweet. it goes. Okay. Let's clip. Okay. Um, yeah. Check, check, check. That's probably a little better. Hello. Turn that up again. Hello. That looks like it's better. Okay. All right, everybody. So. So, yeah. So, we did uh, the Amigo Guitar Show here in uh, Nashville slash Franklin. Yes, we did. Over the weekend. That was fun. And then it's been a little bit of a, a normal week for us this week. Kind of. Because we didn't have to build a bunch of Herc, so it was well, a little slower. And we got to start working on some new stuff, which is great. I, I went to Wildwood Guitars. Oh, oh yeah. I day. forgot about that. Um, that was, um, that was a fun day, a long day. Yeah. I, I yeah. got up at 3.45 a.m. Mm -hmm. and I arrived back at the Nashville airport and was in my car at 12.45 a.m. the following day. You almost did a 24-hour loop there. Almost. I got, I, yeah, it was, a, it was a long day. What time did your head, your head hit the pillar? Uh, like one... 30 or I so. would have stayed up just to hit the 24 hour mark. <laughs> just kept it going. Yeah, why not? Kept it going. Okay. Um, oh, but, yeah. Jam. Did the fuzz phrase. The fuzz phrase. That was so, late yesterday. I saw that. Yeah. So we'll, we'll cue that up. Thank you, uh, person in the comments. Uh, who is that? Uh, Josh, Josh Veraday. Ver Verady. Ver Veraday. There's no A between the D and the Y. Verady. Maybe. I like that. I like Veriday. Uh, anywho, well, let's get into it with some stuff. So, mm -hmm. my buddy Chris, yes, OCE pedals, Chris, uh, Chris Evans, not Captain America, Chris Evans, but another. Chris Whenever Evans. you bring that up, I get a little excited. Like, oh, <laughs> I'm Cap, like, oh, Cap, the Human Torch. <laughs> <laughs> no one, no one remembers that. They might. Uh, not another teen movie. Or that. That's yeah. that's that's a. Classic. No one remembers that. No. I'm, that's a classic performance yeah. from Chris Evans. Uh, so Chris, uh, this Chris, mm -hmm. uh, released this petter, petter, petter. Pet, this petter. This petter, pedal, gee, I can't speak. It's fine. Uh, the hammer. So he has this this line called the Hardware Series, mm -hmm. where he puts um, little tools on his pedals. Mm -hmm. And, um, and, um, <laughs> Uh, sorry, my wife just texted me about a delivery I'm expecting. Um, and, and he makes some really cool little pedals. And so this one is called the Hammer, and it's yeah. his tweaked out um, I, muff circuit. Um, and so Chris is a great guy, good builder, great guitar player. And um, yeah, just uh, I, I think more people should check him out because all this stuff's really cool. And um, it's different. I mean, how many pedals have you ever seen that actually have? And it's a working tool. You can take it off and <laughs> use it. And uh, and he has a bunch of others. Let's see. Yeah. Let's, let's just pull up all here. Yeah, I remember the, the wrench one is one I always see. Yeah, the wrench. wrench fuzz, yeah. And then the line, the lineman. Got some pliers. Got the pliers on there. That's the cool. wrench actually moves, which I think is hilarious. Yeah. Um, a hammer. 
The hammer. There you go. Yeah. Check them out. Uh, cool stuff. Um, wife delivery. Yes, there's there's a package coming to me uh, at some point. We're we'll gonna get, have it we'll, sent here. But we'll then, get to uh, it. Yeah, we'll get to it. I'll pull up a picture of that. Good lord, we are talking about gear. <laughs> yeah, this is some gear. Well, that's some gear. Uh, all right. Mm-hmm. So, doink, Cesar. All right. That's that's the, the Cesar. Master of the tease on Instagram. He's a man, he is he's very good at this. Big teaser. He's got the big tease. They should rename him teaser instead of I'm, if I if I worked there, Tazar, I would call him Tazar. Big Tease until he told me to stop, which would be pretty quick. I'm sure. <laughs> he just fired you. What's immediately. up, Big Tease? What's up, Big Tease? He's like, who is that guy, and and can, how soon can we get him out of the building? <laughs> um, uh, yeah. Well, what's he? What's he? What's he doing? Are you answering your wife now? Yeah. Tell her to bring it down. Well, it depends on what time it shows up. Okay. Um, right. So, it's kind of hard to see here. I, I, for, <coughs> Sorry, I got a little bit of a cough. Uh, we're all getting sick. No, it's fine. On my, there was a thing on my phone. I saw this video. Embiggin, embiggin. Embedded, embedded on my phone. I could actually zoom in. But, they appear to be over at Epiphone. Okay. Doing the thing. Do they're gonna think, they're gonna swap all those headstocks. They they decided. F it. <laughs> F it. Hi Graham. <laughs> I'm sure Graham's watching. Maybe. Um, F it. So Yeah. They've it, had success with the Adam Jones and the, the Kirk Hammett Greeny. Mm-hmm. People are excited about it. They've heard us talk about how, you know, would you get an Epiphone over, say, a, a Les Paul standard because the Epiphone well, quality they watch is good. Everything we do. I think so. So I always see Cesar pop up in there. Yeah. He always like, has a different name every week, but I know that's him. Like, what's up, guys? Sup guys? You want to get tacos later? Yeah, I do actually. I do. I'm starving. Um, Why did you bring up food? I'm sorry. You know how hungry I am. But in this most recent post on on his um, his, ah, I bet that sounded good. It probably did. Shotgun mic. Oh, um, <laughs> bubbles. Uh, I just had a cough cough drop and I drank that. That was not good. Numbers. Uh, <laughs> over on this most recent post. <coughs> From Cesar. Yes. We've got a Les Paul Custom, mm-hmm. uh, a Les Paul Standard, and 355 mm-hmm. yeah. Epiphone, all with the Gibson headstock. Very cool. So it's not an Epiphone uh, Theodore. That's a Gibson Theodore. Mm-hmm. But pretty rad that he's uh, showing these off. And yeah, that yeah, yeah. They're probably going to shift all the headstocks to that, which I think is it, it's an interesting move because... Yeah. I already feel like the line between Epiphone and Gibson is like it, it for the standard stuff is so blurred um, that it's it's, like, it, it's gonna make it. I don't. It's it might. I feel like it might actually hurt Gibson's standard line. But I think that's intentional. I think that you think so. Yes, I do. And not that they're trying to hurt it, but I think it's preparing for the inevitability. Of that mid market sort of dying off, right? Yeah. Which you know, I think it's very difficult to make a really good guitar for twenty five hundred to three thousand dollars. I think it's just it is it's difficult because of the you know the production numbers that you're supposed to make and just all that stuff. It's just you know. So I think that what we're moving into is is import and custom shop uh-huh. being you know sort of it's sort of like it's a different it's a. It's a, it's a, it's just trying to find those sweet spots on, on where people want you to be. And, you know, maybe they're seeing a trend down in sales for that range of guitars. Mm-hmm. And they're just trying to figure out, like, well, if we can puff up the sub 2000 Epiphone stuff, then, you know, maybe we can get somewhere because we cannot make sub 2000 stuff as, as Mookie Shoots One has pointed <laughs> out. Um, it's tough to, to make a really good USA guitar for that <clears throat> price range. Yeah, you know, it's just it to make is. a really good guitar. To make a really good guitar, so it's a, it's it's a it's an interesting thing. Yeah, but the, for those who might not remember the Epiphone, let's see if I can. It's hard to see. Uh, no, it's, I, need, I need I need it what? over the white of the background. Oh. the old the the Epiphone headstock went to this, which is open book, but this is like a this is um, a more yeah. traditional Epiphone headstock, something mm-hmm. that they've done before, and I I, I don't mind this headstock at all. The headstock is kind of wide, and so these new Epiphone look like a Les Paul, or the Les Paul and the, the 355 yeah. headstocks. That looks like a 
straight up normal Gibson headstock, and it looks. I think it's going to be good. I mean, the, they still, of course, to have the little three screw truss rod cover. Yeah. So it's not as you're not going to fool anybody. Not mm-hmm. anyone that knows what they're looking at. Yeah. But it is an interesting uh, move. And and to to the question on here, are they going to move to everything or just the inspired by custom shop? Um. Hard to say. Yeah. I mean, are all three of these inspired by Custom Shop then? Well, I mean, a Les Paul Custom yes, is a Custom very Shop. Good. Yeah, the yeah. 355 is probably inspired by Custom Shop. Yeah. I'd say the um, the uh, that Les Paul, it's hard to tell, mm-hmm. but it may be one of the, because um, they do the like 59 yeah. outfit or whatever, the higher end yeah. reissue sort of thing. Sure. That have like... Burst buckers yeah. and stuff, and those are great guitars. So mm-hmm. maybe it is, you know, they're gonna keep this the this other open book thing on, on the regular stuff. Yeah, but it um, is an interesting thing. And yes, I think uh, you know um, uh, somebody we it scrolls fast, so that's you know scroll back a little bit. Said I'm moving into Harley Benton and Firefly. I can't afford new upphones. I mean, that is the pushing it high. You are. Sort of, if you don't have anything that's like really good, that's like sub one thousand, you are missing a whole market there. Mm-hmm. And so it'd be interesting to see if they try to sort of, you know, make sure to hold on to that stuff. And that's what's interesting if they don't change those headstocks to where they oh, yeah. are they going to make the stuff that's sub because you know PRS is doing really well with sub one thousand, right? Um, yeah. And so it's it's an interesting thing to sort of like, are they going to sort of abandon that uh, you know market and just try to get the, the that mid. One thousand to two thousand dollars, making you know really nice guitars that way, or yeah. I don't know. That's an interesting thing. I, I, or are they going to cede that to Sire? You know what I mean? Well, I mean, like, and no offense to Harley Benton or Firefly, but those guitars are not as good as Epiphone guitars right now. Yeah. Like Epiphone, like that Epiphone SG, they're what like six ninety nine with the Maestro Vibrola thing. Mm-hmm. That guitar is incredible. For the money, the Epiphone Special that we got, that one four ninety nine really, really kind of turned my turned my eyes to that uh, idea. Yeah, as someone who will soon reveal a guitar that that he bought <laughs> this week. Everybody have a drink ready when he tells you, <laughs> so you can spin so it you out. can spin it out on what um, this boy bought. But I effectively spent the most money I've ever spent on on an instrument, and I would still. I would never scoff at an Epiphone. No. Um, so, uh, anywho, Squire guitars are great and affordable. I feel like Squire is pretty hit and miss. I feel like Fender has been pretty hit and miss for me recently. Some stuff is really we great. We got burned on some Squire. We got burned. We really did. And it's hard to, you know, I don't want to say anything mean about uh, a brand, but like our experience with a couple guitars not just one, a couple. Yeah, was not great. Yeah, it kind yeah. of. Uh, but when they're good, they're. I mean, the price is is great for Squires when they're good. For the most part, I yeah. think so. Yeah, I think the prices are good. So. Um, yeah. But let's see. Do we need more Epiphone and Gibson Les Pauls? Do we need more Stratocasters? Do we need more Telecasters? These are, you know, that's that question has. Surely there are enough guitars. Hey, we ask ourselves that all the time. Yeah. And it is it is interesting. To think about that on like, are there's enough people buying guitars to where, you know, these companies need to ship hundreds of thousands of guitars every year, and the answer is yes. Mm-hmm. You know, I guess that's it, there's their needs there the needs are out there. Yeah. Uh, Jacob, what was my favorite piece of gear that I saw at the Amigo show? Admittedly, I didn't go look at a whole lot of gear. It was we had some some. Uh, it was kind of difficult to do. Yeah. We were we, we were a, very busy. We were selling stuff. It was a really good show. Yeah, it's, it was very busy. And then also, like when you go to a guitar show like that, unless you know what you're looking for, right? Where you could scan each booth, and you could like like identify that piece of gear quickly. Like I'm looking for a like late '70s, early '80s Les Paul Custom, for instance. Which I'm always looking at stuff like that. Then you can kind of like scan and you see them quickly. Yeah. But if you're not, it's like kind of overwhelming because every booth kind of looks the same yeah. because they all have like all, very similar vintage gear. They're all black. They're yeah. all. <laughs> yeah. 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 We actually, um, when we were setting up, I was looking around. Yeah, we were worried about this. And my our yeah. tablecloth is is the backdrop. It can, it, grab one of those business cards right oh, there. Yeah, you got it, dog. Um, it's kind of got this sort of rainbow, this like muted rainbow yeah. color scheme. And when we were setting up, we were looking around. We we're like, no one else has any color 
whatsoever for anything. Um, few no. backdrops and signage with maybe some red. Yeah. But I went and asked somebody. I said, "Is, is it okay if our tablecloth is not black?" Yeah. And she was like, "Yeah, why wouldn't it be?" I was like, "Oh, I, I don't know, because no one else has yes. any color anywhere." But we had a. It was a, a really busy weekend. We sold a lot of pedals. Yeah, we did. Yeah. Met a lot of people, but I don't know. There was a 1960 reissue Les Paul that I kind of got sweaty about. You did get sweaty. But, yeah. uh, I, I mean, oh, you bought a few things. I bought, I bought, I bought another 808. Technically, I traded for this. I traded uh, uh, some some old Mythos pedals that I just didn't want anymore for this, and then an Analog Man uh, Silver Mod yeah. 808. And and which and. I was really happy that I found this. <laughs> that made me really happy. And then Matthew <coughs> was scouring. Was just walking around. And, and I found that. And I was like, oh, Zach doesn't have this. Ruby Red 40th Anniversary 808 mm -hmm. uh, in really good shape. There's like was, one little ding. I checked it two. out and I was like, he's got to have this because I did not see that lying around the shop. Ninja Petals. Yeah, I have the blue, but mm -hmm. I don't have the red. There you go. And so to all the trolls out there. <laughs> 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 yes. Um, so that was cool. Yeah. yeah um, you know. There wasn't a whole lot that made me. There was some cool. There was definitely some cool stuff, but nothing mm -hmm. that I was like. That you went, oh, like I have to. Mm. Have yeah, that. I'm trying to think of that for myself too. There's like a 63 330 that looked really cool. Mm -hmm. I always like those. There's a couple vintage PRSs that looked neat. Um, didn't see a Super Eagle. Usually, I try to. Usually, you see one at these shows. I did not. Yeah, see I didn't one. see. Didn't, didn't see a Super Eagle, Super Eagle. Um, uh, which is a bummer. I always like seeing those. Yeah, cool guitars. Yeah. Uh, have I tried the Futura Fuzz? What's that? It's Mark One Tone Bender made exactly like the originals. Makari told me about it. No, I don't really. Mm. I, the, I, I'm not, like most fuzz pedals that are like super old school and stuff, like they're neat, mm -hmm. but I don't get all that. Um, Excited about yeah, it? Yeah, chubbed up. <laughs> <laughs> All bricked up over here. Yeah, yeah. about about tone benders. Um, I've played, you know, quite a few replicas, and I honestly, I, I think that um, the I have the Boneyard from Thorpey, and yeah. that's kind of like all. If I wanted a tone bender, that's 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 the one I'd play. There I guess go. until until Mythos makes one, maybe one day. Ooh. Um. I'm going to be buried in Tube Screamers. No, my coffin will be Tube Screamer shaped. No, my coffin should look like a ghost trap. <laughs> and I, it opens from the top like that. I mean, get the smoke coming out. And yeah. I mean, that'd be cool. Yeah, yeah. I'd get a hologram of me. I'd be like, I'm not ready to go. <laughs> anyway, morbid. I just didn't want to spend $2,000 on a tone bender. Christ. Is that how much they cost? What? Okay, hold on. Let's Let me... Let's give it a Google. Get a Google. <laughs> um, I when who is it? Futura. Futura fuzz. Oh, excuse me. Or is it an actual tone bender? Is that what he's talking about? I find a vintage one. Mm. Oh, I don't know. I mean, some people make replica stuff for insane money. I don't there see this Futura fuzz. Is it Ghost Temporal Research? Mm. Oh, here it is. Mark 1 Tone Bender. Okay. Um, $445. Let's see. Dollar dues. Dollar dues. It's cool font. It's funny because it's not the future of I was going to say, that's the name of a font. Um, <clears throat> there's, a lot of, there's a lot of people that make Tone Benders just like the originals. You know, cool. Mullard's OC 77's. It makes fuzz. Uh, OC 71. Probably the Q1 stage. Um, I don't know. Cool. Yeah, I don't know. I'm glad you like it. <laughs> someone, That's great. <clears throat> someone says, oh, another week of Zach not liking things. And that's not entirely true. Did someone say that? Yeah, there was a comment last week. Uh, and I, I do, I like a lot of stuff. It's just, I think I, most things are, oh, like, I just, it, I don't get excited about I would say, that. I would say this. I would say for the most part, I think we all have lots of things that we don't like. Mm -hmm. You just have a platform to express it. <laughs> yeah. And, I, I, and, and you and, do. And, and not I'm, a lot of people do. And I'm brave enough to be honest with you guys and say, yeah, I don't really, I don't really care about that. 
or I don't really like that. I mean, like this is cool, and it's made like a vintage one. A I'm lot sure of pedals are made. Really, I'm sure it sounds really good. A lot of pedals are made like vintage tone benders using the same crap. Um, but yeah, there you go. I don't know. No, not 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 really interested. Doesn't get you all bricked up. Not at all. No. Not not really at all. Which. Yeah. I'm sure it's very disappointing to a lot of people. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> that 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 a, that a prominent pedal builder is not super um, excited about pedals, but you know, whatever. You like pedals. I like. I do like pedals. Um, <laughs> I just hang out with Rhett too much. I'm not a real hater. I'm definitely not a hater. I'm just honest. And Rhett only hates tube scrapers. <laughs> I think. Well, what I was getting at is, I think that I don't think that you hate more than normal people. It's not a hate thing. I mean, if you ask more people, like, let's talk about all this gear. There's lots of stuff that I don't want mm-hmm. that I don't like. I mean, people ask you these questions about stuff, and you have to say whether or not. I mean, you can just say, I've never tried it or whatever, or right. I tried it, and it's not my thing. I don't think that you hate on things, right? It's just no. more like, I don't I don't care. I don't, we yeah. can't all like everything. No, no. And my take on it, I'm sure all of it sounds really good. I just, it's not for me. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, for sure. Um Khan asked about my Les Paul Plastics video. After installing M69 rings, do you need to sand the, the sand them to match mm. the curved top? Uh, if you have an older, like, standard Les Paul, <laughs> <laughs> uh, if you have a, sa- a standard Les Paul, like a non-custom shop, then the top where the pickups go is more curved. So you can put the M69 rings on there, and they mm-hmm. will bend. The butyrate is flexible enough. But if it's really drastic... Uh, you probably should sand it. And one thing you can do, yeah. it's a it's a it's a pain, but you can lay like painter's tape or something on the guitar, cover mm-hmm. it, like protect it, and then put a light sandpaper mm-hmm. on the guitar, adhere that down to the tape, and then you can slide the pickup ring up and down. Like on it? On the guitar yeah. to yeah. To form it, so then you can place it on, and it won't have as much of a curve. But uh, no, no vintage pickup rings were ever curved; they're all flat bottom. So. And the word butyrate rules. Butyrate. What a cool. I word. love that word. And it's it, they stink. So. It smells good. Uh, it smells, it smells like rotten it milk. Smells good. Um, all right, more questions. Let's what else, see. What else is going on this week? Uh... Oh, we can bring up the. Um, the new uh, jam pedal. Oh yes, someone, of course. Someone brought that up from our like, friends at Jam. Thanks for remembering. Jam. jam, jam, holy fuzz phrase. It's the fuzz phrase. Oh so no, a question on. about Amplified Nation. <laughs> you... Have I played Amplified Nation? I have, um, but I um, I play two rock. Um, two. Rock. Two rock, baby. <laughs> Two rock. That's it. Two rock. I mean, it's like paper, rock, scissors, but it's like... Uh, yeah. No, I... I Fuzz phrase. Fuzz I, phrase. I, the first thing that I was excited about here is is that seeing all the, uh, you know, hype around germanium, mm-hmm. a lot of people coming out with germanium versions of things, mm-hmm. I was excited to see the opposite. Yeah. That made me happy because like, I think we're getting a little crazy around germanium. Getting a little we, nutty, which I'm. It's always been nutty. I know. It's so more it's, nutty. It's nice to see some uh, silicone love. Silicon. I know. I said that. <laughs> on, you, I, I emphasize. I mean, the, oh. like, I think we can all agree. You know, there's some great silicone yeah, yeah. to love out there, but this is silicon. <laughs> I like the real thing. They don't. Um, all right. So yeah, I thought it sounded good. I watched RJ's, which is usually the worst one to watch because. RJ's is always going to sound oh, good. Oh, I was like, oh. RJ always rips, <laughs> but I thought it sounded good. Yeah, RJ's is great. So <coughs> What's using, it based on? It's a fuzz face. It, yeah, I know. So it's got, uh, it looks yeah. like it has BC-107s. BC-107s. So depending on mm-hmm. which BC-107, you're going to get a different amount of gain. But a BC-107 is typically lower gain than most other silicon transistors. Mm-hmm. Most uh, vintage fuzz faces used a BC-108. What do we use? Uh, in well, in the in the 1347, mm-hmm. uh, BC 245s or 247, yeah. something like that. A different sort of yeah. transistor. Because uh, I wanted something pretty low gain. I think low gain in a fuzz face is actually the the best way to get the most yeah. um, use out of like the gain knob. Because yeah. oftentimes on a fuzz face, it's kind of like 
you turn the gain knob up, it's like nothing, 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 fuzz, and then a lot of fuzz, and like that's all the knob does. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So using a lower gain transistor gives you a little more of that. Uh -huh. But um, I'm, I'm of the camp that there's definitely a difference between silicon and germanium sonically, but I think to the layperson, if it wasn't Ooh, printed on a box, um, most people would never be able to tell the difference. I never gave two shits until I started working here <laughs> and hanging out with you guys. And, you're and like, I'm like, oh. germanium's so much more expensive. And then I noticed that stuff because I look at the bills. But I, yeah, I never uh, thought about anything like that. Mm -hmm. I never even knew what the circuits were based on. Yeah. I just, if I liked it and I thought it was cool, I'm like, cool, what is this? Mm -hmm. It's based on what pedal? Right. No idea. I got my Hoof Reaper. I had no idea what either side was supposed to be. I will say, I I'm, just played it. I, I, I wish, like looking at this art. Oh, oh God. I should have put lights in the headlights, man. I should have put the LEDs right there in the headlights. Well, maybe they wanted to, but then they, you need two LEDs? You have both of them come on? Why not? Yeah, man. <laughs> or you could give them the old wallflowers, you know? Oh, yeah. To make the other one look cracked? One headlight. You yeah, know I, mean? I get it. I, yeah, I mean, it's, uh, get the it. wallflowers. We understand, we understand your joke. But you make one of these look like it's, um, yeah. like the, the lens is all cracked and stuff. And then the other one's got the light in it. Yeah, is that supposed yeah. to be uh, like a like a like a clown from the seventies? No, it's a Jimi Hendrix esque character. I know, but with the X's on eyes, it looks like yeah, like, it's, it's like yeah, a clown. I, no, I, I think he's just got some really strong yeah. eye makeup on. A lot, uh, lot of uh, uh, breast jokes going on in the okay. comments right well, now. So. <laughs> I guess I said so I said that one. I, I yeah. yeah. Um, let's see. Um, well, any other questions or any other gear that we we should talk about? Um, I find it undesirable to have my pedal sound affected by temperature. I mean, okay, sure, right? Um, if if you're playing germanium, they will be affected by temperature, but slightly. Yeah. Uh, like, it, I mean, if you're gigging outside uh -huh. and your your pedal boards in in a cool van, and then you lay it in the sun, yeah, it'll sound different. But I think for the most part, unless you're like gigging a lot, I wouldn't. I, I think mm -hmm. that's something that people worry about uh, unnecessarily. There you go. So, have I seen Joey's new vibe, the R Weaver Midnight? I saw a video of it. What was that? It's a uni vibe. Oh, yeah, yeah I saw he posted about so, that. I hadn't yeah. checked it out yet. Um, I don't know. I, uh, I I'm sure it. it's cool. Uh, there's so many uni vibes. Uh, they're all so damn big. Univibe got a lot of stuff going on. Univibe a lot got of junk parts. in the trunk. Dang. <laughs> Dang. Univibe got cadmium. <laughs> <laughs> Univibe not ROHS compliant. Oh, um, wow. Sorry. 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 But right. you know what? Uh, just don't eat your pedals and you'll be fine. I mean, we um, always write, do not eat on the uh, on the PCB for a reason. Do not eat. Do not eat. Everyone, uh, I... I it's a joke, but it's also true. Don't don't eat your circuit boards. Um, Zach and Matthew, Zach with a K. I'm Zach with an H. Um, got the two T's in Matthew though, so that's great. That's right. Uh, you got your Positron. Love this thing. Hours of enjoyment in the wee hours of the morning. Yes, Positron, which are still on sale. Oh, and by the way. Oh, we got a code at the uh, top. Up there, code Brazilian. Okay. You'll understand that in hint, a second. Hint, 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 um, hint. Uh, you get free shipping in USA on MythosPedals.com. Brazilian. And the Positron is still on sale for 139 um, Underrated pedal. Very underrated. It's probably our most underrated and misunderstood fuzz. The thing's beef. It's, it's beef-tastic. It's, it's beef. It's beef City, USA. Beef City, USA. <laughs> beef across the street. Let's go. <laughs> oh, man. I actually <coughs> ordered Gibson's rather true, original true historic M69 rather than rough. Uh, uh, Gibson's current uh, M69 rings are butyrate. There you go. So the way the way you tell is when you get get, get new butyrate, you mm. open the bag, you smell it, and if it smells like like vomit or spilled or spoiled milk, butyrate. Cool. Oh, the guitar! Oh, the guitar's here. <laughs> oh gosh. Hey, guitar day. It's an NGDO guitar day. It's an NGD guitar should, should, day. Should she bring it's it or should a, we wait? Um, is she bringing lunch too? <laughs> <laughs> um, I, we'll just wait. Well, if you, we wait, I don't get to see it. You'll see it on Monday. That's so long from now. Yeah. 
It's fine. It's fine. We actually have work to do after this. Yeah, if we bring, if that, <laughs> that's true. That's true. Uh, you All talk right. to the people right here. At the... I'll talk to the people. Oh I'll oh talk my, to the people. Oh, my God. The there's people. so many things. There's so many things going on. All right. All right. Slow. Somebody <laughs> They're beefed. They're out here. Somebody beefed. I mean, that's, <laughs> the word beef. It's I, I'm obsessed with the word beef. Much like David Letterman was obsessed with the word pants. I just think the word beef is the funniest thing ever. So, woo, I say live we'll unboxing. See, she wants to bring it. Live she, unboxing. She said I can get lunch too. Oh, I forgot. Oh see, my god. That's why you know I, I married the right woman. Yeah, Morgan rules. All right. I gotta see how much. Uh, uh, I'm late. Did you reveal what the new guitar is? No, but all the context clues are there. Should should we should we share it? What it is? No, 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 no. Wait, 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 sure? wait, wait. I wanna wait, check wait, and wait. see how much charge my car has. Oh, sixty percent. The car has enough charge. Dude, dude, dude. Oh, ooh. Ver, you viewers just jumped up when the the, the guitar reveal. Let's see um, what else. Okay, what else we got? Live unboxing. Test your might, Matthew. I'm singing with you as you should. Um, let's see here. What do you guys think of the Gibson? Oh, the Teddy. Theodore. I think that we Ugh. talked about it last week. I'm just, I'm just not. I'm just. I think a. Maybe a single cut. I think I said that last week. Maybe a single cut version with that little tulip thing going on might be okay. Yeah. I like. I like. Uh, I like the. I like a rap tail. That would be cool. Um, I don't know. I just can't get into it. It's. It, I think the more they make it, the more it'll normalize a little bit, and that's always the problem with new body shapes. Yeah. Even though it's an old body shape, a new body shape, because it's just you have to. Oh, so there you go. He got it. Chris. Nice job, Chris. Um, but you know, once you, if it gets established enough, then maybe people, you know what, there it is. Just put it up. Okay. Just put it up. How do I pick? Uh. Huh. Doink. Let's see. Doink the Clown. Does anybody else remember Doink the Clown? Where's Robert Baker? <laughs> <laughs> He get that. There it is. Okay, so Zach, what is that? What are we looking at uh, here? What so, are we looking at? Uh, I went to Wildwood Guitars. You did on Monday, you did. and I filmed. So, give you a rundown of the day, real quick. I landed. Yes, you did. Pretty early. Got the rental car. Drove up to Wildwood. Greg was doing videos. Mm -hmm. We went and got lunch. I got a Beyond Burger. Where'd you go for lunch? I never even asked you. Uh, in in Colorado. Yeah. It, well, we went. It's in Louisville, so we went to this little place called the Waterloo Pub. Mm -hmm. Um. So I got a Beyond Burger. Uh, it was pretty good. Mm -hmm. And then came back, shot some video. I had time to kill before my flight. My flight was delayed. I didn't even have to really be at the airport until much later. Yeah. So I was just playing guitars. They said, "Whatever you want to open, just go yes. walk around, find something cool." Yeah. And I was pulling out Murphy Labs, all of the Les Pauls. That's, that's all I really like. Mm -hmm. uh, snakes and sparklers. And playing some stuff. And John. Evil. Walked in with this. He's like, I just really want you to see this. <coughs> Excuse me. Yeah. Um, he said, I really want you to see this thing. So mm -hmm. we, uh, we I pulled it out of the case. And it was just like, oh, geez. So this is a Brazilian uh, 29. Or that. Uh, uh, 1959, right. brand new. Um, yeah, was that run? They run they did last year. Or was it last year? It was, was it 2023? Was it? Or this year? I can't remember this anything. Year, they I just think. came out this year. And they uh, only made 50 of each, I think. 50 of each color, yeah. yeah. And so this is uh, Tom's Dark Burst. Mm -hmm. uh, <clears throat> all Murphy Lab. The the plastics aged. All the hardware is aged. The finishes finishes aged. It's eight, a little over eight pounds. Uh, has some different pickups, some Alnico Five mm. custom buckers, and it everything about that guitar made me go, uh, 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 what? <laughs> <laughs> so I just flipped, and um, you sent me a video. I sent Matthew and a I, video, and I, you sent it. And so you said it just was Matthew, uh, and then you playing it, and I was like, oh, he wants that guitar. It was I know. It I was know. incredible. <clears throat> so. Um, so I came home, I talked to my lovely wife, and mm -hmm. this is my 40th birthday present to myself. 
There it is. So I'll be getting it here in 20 minutes or so. There you go. Can't believe it. Can't believe I bought another Les Paul <laughs> that wasn't pearly. Mm-hmm. And and so for the people that um, were um, expecting me to get a pearly Gates. Which was the topic all weekend at Amigo. It was. It was like, I want a pearly was, Gates. Yes, yes. We didn't find any. There's one store in Illinois that has one, and mm-hmm. we thought about driving up there and seeing it. Yeah. But I've played a few of them. Mm-hmm. Um, and and I've never liked them. I've, I want to like them. I desperately mm-hmm. want to like them. Yeah. But I, I can't. I just yeah. I, I don't like the way they sound. So And I don't like the neck. They just look cool. Mm-hmm. So I opted for this, and I'm really excited. It has the most burst-like top of all the ones I played. It, um, mm-hmm. Yeah. But it's uh, it, Morgan's bringing it, so I'll... Uh, we'll unbox it once it's here. Maybe not on the live stream. We might make a little video and post it. Yeah, because it could be a little bit before she gets here. If she has to get me lunch, too. <laughs> we um, might go get lunch after. Oh, You can come with us. I got string cheese, <laughs> so I'm okay. I'll have string cheese. Uh, over under two months before Zach mods it. You know, I don't, I actually think this one might survive a little bit. I did already gets... buy some stuff to mod it. You! What? I, pole screws. I wanted some really dark-aged pole screws because it's so, it's so relict. And they're not dark enough. Yeah, I, and mm. we'll see. I, I I might put them on my R nine. Uh, my only big concern is this: is this going to dethrone the R nine? Because that guitar is. That was really, the first thing that I thought was that you're buying something that is, you know, besides the color difference, is pretty close to your R nine, which is yeah the goat. As the kids like to say. <laughs> they don't. <coughs> yeah, they do. Kids don't even, they just know goat simulator these days. No, they know that it's the goat. They know. Maybe they do. <laughs> so it'll be interesting to see, like, sort of how that hierarchy yeah. kind of comes, comes about. But it's so different. Um, is there a significant quality difference you can feel? Oh, wait, I think I can, like, click these and they'll show up. Hey, look at that. You, I saw that um, Corey was doing it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, I like it. So people um, write some nasty shit and then yeah. put it on there. Um, um, let me answer that question. Yes. Yeah, you. you yeah. Yes, I think that it's like it's one of those things where you don't want it to be because you're like, oh, this standard is good enough. And we hadn't really played a whole lot of standards. I hadn't really played a lot of them in a while. And then you know when we had Chippy for a while. Uh-huh. And you get it, and you're like, this is a nice guitar. And then you bring your R9 in, and you're like, oh, yeah, never mind. And it, there's nothing wrong with the guitar, but it's just you can there, you can feel it. You can see it. There's just a – there's just – there's just the, – the fit and finish and the attention to detail is just so much higher. And that's not to say you can't find a standard that is ever bit as good. You yeah. know, it's funny. I've played, um, I've played a ton of Les Paul Studios mm-hmm. that rang and just played – as yeah, good yeah, yeah, as yeah, yeah. any Les Paul I've ever played. Mm-hmm. Um, but there's something to the upper echelon of what Gibson Custom is doing right now. I think the Murphy Lab, um, what they, I think they perfect, well, I think they really came into their own with the Greenie. Yes. And I think what they have started to really accomplish with these guitars yeah. are, is the first time that I feel like they've ever... <coughs> <coughs> Excuse me. Ever blurred the line between vintage and and, and I mean, when I checked out that that greenie at the the garage, I was it was jaw dropping. It's incredible. Jaw dropping holding that guitar. Yeah. So, um, do I still recommend the Catalyst? Yes. I haven't played the new one, the mm-hmm. CX, but yeah, absolutely. I love the Catalyst. I think it's yeah. It. Uh, I don't. Hot take. Oh. Practicing at home. Uh, practicing, not yes. playing. Practicing. If you yeah. legitimately need to sit down and practice guitar, I think it's better to have a really nice, high quality um, digital amp that you can play at any volume mm-hmm. and achieve pretty much any sound you need than it is to kind of have to bust out all the gear, the pedal boards, and the amps and stuff. Yes. If you're just needing to woodshed and practice, I think. That is it needs to be quickest uh, quickest barrier to entry. It's yeah, like it yeah. needs to be like that's why I have the um, HX Stomp, so it's quick. Yeah, literally, I just plug in and put the headphones on and I'm playing. 
Right. And then, like, I think that uh, for a long time I practiced with one of the little mini katanas. Is there battery powered? Mm-hmm. And I would just sit. I would sit on the porch. Graham would be playing in the yard. I would just be practicing guitar. Mm-hmm. And so, like, I I, I really enjoy them. Uh, even the stuff that's not the best in the world, I think it it, mm-hmm. it I don't know. The act of playing guitar and just hearing yourself it mm-hmm. should be the most fun part. And I don't think you have yeah. to get too hung up on everything being like yeah. the best sound you've ever heard. Um, so. Uh, Jacob, I need to get my hands on the new Dave Grohl Epiphone. Uh, you, but you were right about the finish just being okay. Yeah, yeah. I, I, you know, Epiphone finishes when when it's especially with um, metallics mm-hmm, mm-hmm. and stuff. I think it, it, it's a little hard. I feel like with solid colors, uh, especially if there's no veneer, um, just a solid. Mm. I, I feel like that guitar would have looked a little better if it was not didn't have that metallic sort of. Uh, thing yeah. in it, yeah, you know, just a, a really nice palo mm-hmm. blue, with without metallic, yeah, um, yeah. You could come and keep people, people asking about how much I spent. <laughs> well, of course they're gonna ask. Uh, I got a good deal because you got a nice deal because I. Um, I mean, y- we you get industry deals. When we you, work with them. Yeah, they are one of our best dealers, and you know yeah. that's how that works. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah, absolutely. Um, practice some plug, dragging stuff out is not worth it for, for you. Yeah, and, and a lot of times that's what I do too. Yeah, if you got um, a good guitar, it should ring. And you can play it, you know, even electrics you can play unplugged. So that's nice. It's three power switches and I have two amps, two cabs, pedal board ready to go. Well, yeah, I mean, you can definitely have all that stuff set up. But, but I know for, for me in my house, um, Same for me. with a kiddo and that you have two children... It's hard um, to, unless you have you can't a dedicated leave that stuff out. Yeah, if you have a dedicated room, yeah. great. I don't have a dedicated room. Yeah, my, me either. My, so it's like I have to kind of be strategic with my my gear and your volume. And I my mean, volume. even if even if yeah. you have a family, like I now I have the two rock in the den. Mm-hmm. I have my little guitar corner set up, and mm-hmm. it's it's like you know it's sexy, it's nice, you know. But yeah, uh, and all yeah. I have to do is click clack, and it's on. But it's loud. <laughs> like, I mean, that is part of it. Loud. You know what I mean? I mean, I think that. That's uh, that's oh, it was way more than seven thousand dollars. <laughs> yeah, seven thousand. I would have tried to. Oh buy yeah, it. Matthew would have been like, "Give me one. Just I'll pick fi- out another one. Just pick out another one. I'll figure it out. I'll figure um, it out." So it uh, but this is this is you know this is a big deal, big purchase, and and my birthday is not until October. Um, but you, it's forty. There it is. You know? Boink. Boink. Uh, Boink. But I'm turning forty. And and the this guitar people were actually making appointments to go play it. Yeah. The following day, and so Greg at Wald was like, "Hey, I'm just letting you know, no yes. pressure, but if you want it, it's probably going to get going yeah. soon because this is the last one they had like this. They, All yeah. the rest had a had a Bigsby on it. Had a spend ten grand on a guitar and play it on a digital amp. <laughs> so well, this is a practice. Who cares? Sounds good. Yeah. You know, like. It's not like we don't have fancy amps. You, I mean, the, the fancy amps are... <laughs> oh, That's always my favorite part. Whoa! <laughs> um, Giving me up. Giving me up is good. Stop that. What? <laughs> um, I, you know, I mean, it, yeah. like, But that whole idea, like you play a, <coughs> a really fancy guitar into a, a digital amp. I mean, how many of us are taking even, you know... Uh, any guitars, and we're yeah. running it through pedal boards that cost, or pedal boards that probably out cost the guitar, yeah, or yeah. we're running like this incredibly nice guitar mm-hmm. through a pedal that's like two hundred bucks, and like there's an irony in all of mm-hmm. it. But, but yeah. I think I think so much of the 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 price of the guitar too. I mean, to me, it's how well it feels and plays. So, I mean, if it's digital, it might sound not as good as you know cranking up a, a tube two rock, but it's gonna yeah. feel right and it's gonna you know, play right because it's going to be set up. I mean, that's just as good as anything. It's like you know, that's half the battle. I mean, that might be more than how it sounds. Yeah, is that it feels right when I play it. So it's just make it's just <clears throat> it's just uh, just just having fun. It's all about having fun. That's literally all it's about to me. Yeah, yeah. It's not and about you're gonna have so much fun with this guitar. Oh yeah, right. Yeah, we're gonna have a lot of fun. <laughs> yeah. Uh, do I have to wait till, till October to play it? No. Uh, I'll be playing it today. 
today. But I'm not getting uh, I'm not getting any other presents for any other holiday or anything else for a long I'm gonna time. Get you, I'm gonna get you something. <laughs> Give me another. Uh, I just need. I, I just want more action figures. That's what I like. That's what you got last Matthew year. Matthew always picks out really good action figures. Thank you. Thank you. I feel really um, good about it. Uh, recently bought a 2023 um, <clears throat> Les Paul special, and you hate the 50s chunky neck. Mm. Any recommend recommendations outside of letting it go? I feel like if you truly hate a guitar neck, there's not much you can do apart mm. from, I mean, mm. getting the guitar modified, like shaving the neck. That but seems like so much. Waste that seems money. very expensive. I think sell it and get the guitar you, that really connects with yeah. you. Yeah. Like if you were going to spend money on getting it modded, you could sell it. And even if you took a little loss, you would, you, you the amount of money that you would also spend on getting it fixed, like you, you have enough for another guitar. So. Mm -hmm. Um, Matthew, we'll get you some on beef. <laughs> Good. I'm excited. Uh, you know, it's funny. Uh, I can write it off. I normally don't write off guitars. No, you don't. I don't. Because um, you have to do specific things in order to make that work. Too. Well, you have to schedule it. Mm -hmm. And like big purchases, I mean, that's like, that would raise an eyebrow. Um, but I don't want to schedule anything mm -hmm. on my taxes. Um, so I'll take the loss. I'll take the 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 lack of tax savings. I, I just, you know, I, I, I uh, put money in my IRA. I'll, I'll get that tax savings that way. <laughs> um, have, I, uh, have I tried the, the Fender Shields Blender pedal? No. I've never played that one. I've played, a, I've played old uh, Fender Blenders. Fen, mm -hmm. fen, fen, it's a blender. Yeah, Fender Blender. Fender Hello. Blender. Um, and, and uh, like, they're a sound. I don't know if it's a sound I mm -hmm. like. Um, but it's, it is a sound. I'm not a, I'm not a big, uh, Sonic Youth, mm. um, sort of guy. <laughs> um, not that there's anything wrong with it. It's just not something I've Sonic ever... Youth? Isn't that Kevin? Kevin Shields? Oh. That's My Bloody Valentine. Oh, My Bloody Valentine. Uh, but didn't Sonic Youth use Fender Blenders too? If they did, um, I never looked it up. I don't know. So. Sorry. Bradley Wyatt got himself a guitar. Oh, 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 oh. Hey, got a Murphy Lab 59 Ultralight Age from Carter yesterday as a 40th birthday present to yourself. There you go. And your birthday's in November. Well, happy early birthday present to you, I, my friend. And, and, you know, all this Les Paul hysteria. hysteria. I'm, I turned 44 in June, and I've decided, because i got to save up. i got a lot of little kids. I'm also buying another cast of Dosa really soon. <laughs> so that's part of it. But Dosa. Dosa. The Dosa. Dosa. I'm Dosa for me. That'll be Dosa for me, too. But I've decided for my 50th birthday, we're gonna. I will get myself a, a, a 59, and I think we should go. We're to getting like, a real 59. Well, <laughs> I hope that uh, I would hope that we would be uh, successful enough in six years that we could afford one. <laughs> <coughs> no, but I want to go to Wildwood and, and buy one. Yeah, we'll fly out. We'll fly it out. Super for, cheap to fly for so. my 50th birthday, and we'll film it, and we'll find the right. Les Paul for me. Yeah, that'll be really fun. They got I, a lot. I, they got a lot. I think that would be really. When fun. I first, uh, you're shaking the desk. <laughs> I get really excited. Well, just don't, just don't rub the desk. You're, you're, talk, I get, you're talking I just, shoe. I like rubbing against the leg. <laughs> <laughs> uh, oh yeah, my talking shoe. Uh, um, yeah. Oh, that's the, a thing. okay. Here's a question. Um, my current, let's see, my dream is to buy an R7. Okay. My current Les Paul has a slim taper neck. So do you guys think it would feel drastically slow and hard to play on a 57 neck? No, not the new ones. Mm. Um, the newest reissue gold tops, it's definitely going to be a chunkier neck. Mm -hmm. But I don't think they're they're not that bad. I mean, did, I have a 54. Did you play the 57 that was at Amigo? Did you go check it out? Oh, the real 57? Somebody had a real, was selling a real 57. No, I wasn't going to ask. I, I've, play, I've, pl I've played a lot of... Yeah, yeah, yeah. Those. You have them at Carter's. Um, yeah. But... Um, yeah, I mean, the the new ones are definitely going to be chunkier than what you're used to, yeah. but they're not going to be too bad. Uh, any cool guitar plugins you've been wanting to try? Not really. You kind of slowed down on that. You you kind of went ham for a little while there. You got lots of stuff. Well, I, yeah, I, I'm I'm right now. I'm looking at a lot of drum loops and stuff, and I'm going to get back into making the videos in here. Yeah. Um, but I just really like the neural stuff. I I don't really feel um a need to uh, look much further beyond that. Mm -hmm. 
you turned 46 this year. Can I get my 40th guitar too? I mean, you can do whatever you want. I mean, that's it's it's a little early, but yes, absolutely. <laughs> you know, whatever, whatever gets you through it. You know. Yeah. Uh, and now I'm on Sweetwater. I'm going to be Thanks. 60 this year. I should probably get a real burst. Yes, absolutely. Oh, yeah, absolutely. Yeah. Get you one. I mean, looking at what Gibson makes, the only uh, uh, way up from this guitar right here. Is to get a real one. <laughs> kind of. And I'm like, why wouldn't that be the goal of Mythos Pedals is to someday get you an actual burst? Is that too much money? Ah, man, you don't think uh, we can pull that off? I don't know. That's How a many, lot of money. You guys like some pedals? <laughs> you want to buy some pedals? <laughs> I, uh, I'm going to really figure out how to uh, optimize this place <laughs> so, for efficiency and for you know profitability. I don't know if I can in good conscience spend that much money on a guitar. Yeah. I don't think I could do it. Maybe the maybe the the vintage market just craters. <laughs> that or you know I you know the 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 Powerball. Gets it's up over there. a billy, right? I I, th I think someone got it because I saw last it last night got down to twenty. Oh, so I, think I thought it, it was going over a billy. Yeah. Um, uh, let's see. Any favorite strings? Uh, I'm an Ernie Ball and Throwback string guy. I use yeah. Ernie Ball rock and rolls and Throwbacks. Uh, mm. Round core. Famous. I like Roundcore and Les Pauls. I feel like that is uh, vintage Gibson strings back in the day. Roll mm -hmm. ra uh, round center core. Mm -hmm. And yeah. People are saying you look like the singer from Cardinal Black. Me? Yeah. I get a lot of stuff. Yeah. Yeah. People say I look like a lot of different people. <laughs> Paul Giamatti. I like that one a lot. Yeah. I got that 20 years ago, though. I So, you know, like uh, sideways era. Uh, vintage S SG. Meh. Matthew um, is a champ for thinking that way. I don't know what that's referencing, but yes. You're welcome. <laughs> yes, you're welcome. All of my thoughts are correct. <coughs> Excuse me. We're both sick. Um, uh, build me a Mythos Power Booster pedal. What was that? Like a, like a color sound? Is that what it is? Ah. Power Booster. Ooh, that's interesting. It sounds like a the key, Super oh, Nintendo. Is, like the Keeley Muse driver is now the MK3 driver. Ah. What? Interesting. Where's the pull that? It's on the thing on the chat. Go up a little bit. Oh. There it is right there. MK3. They had band. to change the name. I don't think from, probably not from Muse, the band, because the, that exists in a different space. Yeah. Um, but there may have been another thing. Um, it could have been like a guitar finish. Oh, okay. Or it could be anything that exists mm. in, not even just guitar, just musical instrument realm. Yeah. Uh, you could get a C, a C and D yeah. for. Um, uh, what do I think about the FM3 Fractal? Uh, Robert Baker really likes the Fractal stuff. So does, uh, so does uh, uh, Rhett. Robert Baker. Robert Baker, uh, our friend. Uh, how does round core differ from hex core? It, I, it just feels different. There's something about the sound and how it, how they, how the lower strings like sound and the kind of feel. Like in the pickup, mm. it just sound it just sounds different. It's, it's I've just been I, using EBs for so long. I don't know what's going on. Yeah, those are all lime hexcore. slankies. Uh, can I talk about the meth? Talk about the method. Mythos. Oh, just, uh, yeah. <laughs> Autocorrect. Hot, hot chicken. chicken. So the OG hot chicken was a Herculean V two and um, uh, a the original Cestus, which was like a kind of like a super hard on, different but mm -hmm. similar. Uh, yeah. And you order switcher, and it was cool. Um, mm -hmm. You know, it didn't sell super well, but uh, cool pedal. Yeah. Uh, cool aesthetic. Um, what's the new shotgun mic? So I've had the shotgun mic, um, but I normally use it for just uh, when it when it's just me. But I, I hope it's sounding good. We'll just, see how we're it tired sounds. of holding stuff. Yeah. No now we can stuff. you know we can do Aww. this. <laughs> uh, but it's a Sennheiser MKH-50. Yeah. Uh, really great shotgun mic. Um, early 60s SC Special with P90s would be a destroyer of souls. They're great. <laughs> Don't want one. <laughs> I'm not drinking any Merlot. We get all the Sideways references on oh, here. So funny enough, great. Sideways was shot, you know, eh, like, in, like, in, like an hour from where I lived. Mm. So, like, you know, I used to go to a lot of the places, you know, that they'd been in, in there and... So it was kind of a big deal for us. It's like, hey, sideways. It's like kind of the central coast of California. Mm -hmm. And then people were like, oh, you look like uh, 
Paul Giamatti. And I'm like, I'm 24 years old. I, I had hair. I had hair at the time. I still got some. But maybe it was just my crabby attitude. <laughs> right? <laughs> you can't be any crabbier than me. Um, any recommendations for a rotary? Mm-hmm. Looking for that hot blue and righteous churn. Uh, rotary. Mm. Mm-hmm. I mean, the, the mm-hmm. Neo ventilator is like, that's kind of the thing. I like the Lex from Strymon as well. Uh, uh, any recommendations for custom buffers? <coughs> Excuse me. Looking for a more bright, airy sound. Um, I don't like the A3 custom buckers. There's something about it I don't like. For me, if you have a 59 reissue list poll and you want the best of the best, throwback. Just go to Throwback's website. Um, choose something that seems like it would fit your personality, your guitar. Mm-hmm. Email John or their Matthew, and they, they can talk you talk to you about what would suit your guitar. Tell them what you're looking for, and mm-hmm. just invest in it because. They, they they truly are probably the most mm. a- well they they're, they're the most accurate and some of the best sounding pickups I've I've encountered yeah so. I you know throwbacks are I was skeptical I was like they can't be that much better and I remember the, I tell the story before I remember the first time me and uh, Dennis put him in a guitar and we're like oh no <laughs> oh no it was shocking yeah I was like wow so yeah and you know and you know I'm I'm uh, Kind of a rube when it comes to a lot of this stuff. So I think I would have been like, if it wasn't a big deal, I wouldn't have noticed. But I was like instantly like, oh, yeah, okay, never uh, mind. Well, the Positron is the Positron Collider. Wait, is the Positron Collider never going to come back or ever going to come? Uh, yeah, you, you will say. I think I think so. I think keeping it special is a good thing. It's a limited thing. It's a it's limited. It's never going to be a standard. It's too yeah, goofy yeah, yeah. a build to be a standard thing. Um, do Gibsons sound different because the strings are closer together? Like the, what do you mean? Is it nut width? The you string about nut spacing width? or nut width? Uh, Sorry, guys. Well, yeah. uh, Sorry. I don't know. Matthew looks like Francis Ford Coppola. Now we're getting somewhere here. Do you? Uh, yeah, I think so. Yeah. Uh, what amp am I going to plug the new guitar into first? Uh, probably the Vintage Deluxe. Mm, I think we should plug it in the Bloomfield first. but Bloomfield needs a new preamp, dude. Uh, Can I answer one wrestling question? Oh, is it this one? Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> also, Matthew, my tribal chief, you have acknowledged me, so I will answer your question. I present you with my weekly wrestling question. Is The Rock turning on Roman? I actually think, based on what happened on Raw, that... The Rock is going to go too far, and Roman will turn on him. So when they fight, it'll be heel Rock and babyface Roman. Trust me. He's been healed for four years. Roman can do it. I think it'll be great. None of you understand any of that, but it'll be great. I don't even know. And I'm looking at the mic instead of the camera. I, got, <laughs> I was like, hello, better, hello. Better than looking at the screen, I guess. So there you go. So that's that's my answer. Uh, 50s wiring or standard for Les Paul. 50s wiring in everything. Mm-hmm. Um, okay. Well, we've been going for almost an hour. Morgan should be here. Oh, she's pulling in. We'll check on, on Instagram. All right, guys. Let's go. Let's go. See you ah! soon.